Hey guys, how you doing? It's Hex. Hello there. And I wanted to talk to you about a game called Brain Slash Out. That's Brain Out. It's Brain Slash Out here, but there's no slash in the logo. I'm torn. I don't know what to think. Um, but yeah, Brain Slash Out is a multiplayer shooter with nostalgic post-Soviet feel. I, nostalgic post-Soviet feel? What the fuck does that mean? Experience dynamic battles and experiment and what? And exterminate your enemies with large arsenal of modern day weapons lock and load. Uh, that's a terrible description. It's a uh, pixel art side scrolling CSGO. That's, yeah, it's side scrolling Counter-Strike. That is literally the only way to describe it. Um, it's very new to Linux. It's 24th of February 2017. I'm under the impression the Linux version dropped. Yeah, look, there's not even like a button for it yet. It's not even a button for it yet. Um, it, it's very recent. Um, I really don't know how recent, but yeah, it's, it's, it's over the last couple of days, I believe, um, at time of recording anyway. Uh, the game gets mostly positive reviews. Uh, there is there there are there is in game in game transactions in game micro transaction things where you can buy these loot crates, which seems to be a popular way of doing things at the moment. I don't like loot crates because you don't know what you're getting, and that to me is a little bit anti-consumer because you you don't know what's in the box before you buy it. So I'm not a fan of it, but there are more heinous business models out there, um, so I can't complain too much. This guy's played 117 hours of it. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah interesting enough shall we have a look at the game shall we uh right this is the game this is the there we go this is the game um it's got look it takes itself like proper seriously at this bit you're like what the fuck is this this is this is legit look uh, and you go like this yeah okay quick play uh, that'll be fine look at this this is not pixels this is this is this is some real shit i don't know if that's a render or what but it's real and then you get into the match and uh and yeah you you're here <laughs> yeah this is you and this is this is how you play um I, yeah i don't really know what to say it's um it looks a bit it looks a bit ms paint it's got a very retro aesthetic and not see it's, i just feel like i feel like the the art styles don't match like i like like the the, the background and stuff they've got this weird sort of I don't know, soft look to it, which is which is cool. I'm not in any way criticizing. Let I me mean, look at the background; it's cool. But then the foreground looks really like really like it's like it's it's been done by someone who's not an artist. I think that's how I feel at least. Um, that said, though, once I've stopped bashing the graphics mechanically, like this little dude mechanically, it's really good. And if you move your weapon, if you move your reticle further away from the character, you get to see further, and you can just shoot people when they drop down, like a delivery service. Which is something that obviously seems to seems to be worthwhile doing. And um, that was convenient. Oh, I missed that weapon. Uh, you can hold the shift to sprint, obviously. Uh, that's the way of these games, I think. And uh, oh, there's a guy. Look, 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 look. See, they can see you as much as you can see them. So I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how you get the upper hand. But uh, yeah, it's 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 side scrolling. It's side on Counter Strike, which is a really weird thing to like. It's not something you think you'll you'll ever hear yourself saying, is it? It's side scroll and counter strike, but yeah, it's it's good game. Um, genuinely, although uh, like I say, the graphics, I don't know, they're, they're just not to my taste. I don't, yeah, they're not they're not really doing it for me. Um, oh shit, the gameplay is really tight. It's got like it it reminds me. It's like it's like someone played Worms, then played Counter Strike, and went, we need to put these two things together. And that person's a genius. It's obviously a genius. Um, yeah, all all in all, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I find it hard to remember to constantly zoom out. You have to constantly be zoomed out, otherwise you don't stand a chance of getting anyone. Make sure we got him. Yeah, the fucker's dead. <laughs> but, uh, ah, shit, see? Because my line of sight was blocked, I didn't see him. Um, so I'm not quite sure how the line of sight's worked out, because sometimes you see people that you shouldn't be able to see, and often you don't, and I'm not quite sure how that's worked out and what the mechanics are for that. But, uh, all in all, yeah. I'm a fan. Shit, shit, shit. Ah. Oh. I'm a fan. Uh, now, uh, now, if we exit out of this uh, and we exit, we exit, uh, we can see the loot box system up here. Oh, oh we have to go to the loading screen. Um, can, there we go. Yay! Um, you can you can buy a gold loot crate for ninety nine cents. Cents, yeah. Um, a standard container for forty nine, and a starter pack for four dollars twenty two, which is again pretty reasonable for this kind of game. I don't think there's any. It seems fair enough, really, and I don't think you really need it to to play the game. Everything looks cool. Um, 
can't really say a lot else to it till I've played a shitload of it. I feel that's kind of how I'm feeling about it. Like, I wanted to talk about it because it's early on. But, uh, yeah, at the same time, I, I kind of want to go and play more. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, I like this. Look at this. Uh, this this is what CRT blur effect it does. It's pretty cool. Um, and you can, you know, go through it. And I get the impression because of this, look, that these weapons uh, deteriorate over time and you have to repair them. I don't know if maybe that's where the cash thing comes in. Like, you have to, like, pay money to that. I don't know at this point. But it's certainly something I want to find out more of. So that's been Brain Slash Out. Something interesting. Don't really understand the name of the game. The title's odd. And this term, nostalgic post-Soviet feel. I don't eat that. Just what? I don't even know what they're going for for that. But yeah, the gameplay is cool. Um, and hopefully, again, is it in early access? No, it's not even early access. Also, it's full release. Yeah. Mm, full graphics are a bit, I don't know, odd. Like I said, the foreground graphics don't seem to match the background graphics. But, you know, may maybe, maybe I'll... Uh, Maybe I'll grow fond of it over time because it is something I'd like to play more of. I've been HexDSL. Thanks for watching. And hopefully tomorrow I won't do another multiplayer game. Who knows? Odds are, you know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Oh, and uh, don't forget you can like and subscribe if you feel so inclined.